Yahoo! Hi guys, it's Leo coming at you with Life of Leo and today I'm going to show you some new art project that I bought today at Hobby Lobby's and some old art stuff for future project ideas for videos and let me know what kind of projects you want to see guys comment in the description below okay guys let me know okay so some of the stuff that I bought at Hobby Lobby is Sharpies, Sharpies, nice Sharpies. I like using Sharpies to color my graffiti stuff and sketches. This is all like sketch stuff. See this right here, guys. This right here, Sharpie. And all the colors underneath the rainbow. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. Another thing that I bought is an eraser. And I bought the non abrasive eraser. So when you I erase on a paper and won't tear or rip it like regular like number two pencil or like a mechanic pencil that has the eraser at the end that rips the paper if you erase too much but my thing is i'm gonna try not to erase so much but yeah this is gonna be good and then i bought these two outlines but different sizes different tips see guys different sizes different tips see and this is a black eyeliners uh permanent markers from uh I think it's um Malatap, I believe. Ah, I don't know the brand, but I I seen this around and I know this is pretty good. Okay, yeah. So this is summer stuff, guys. Summer stuff. Okay, one next over here. Okay, now here's my old stuff that I have in this bag. Here's some old stuff. Okay, so some old stuff that I have is this to mix painting or get it dirty. It, it's already been used a lot. See, you can tell, guys. See, this is this is that that. That okay, and then I have twisty coloring pencil kind of thing. Yeah, you know what I like doing with these? I like sharpening them and making them into a point. But but with a mechanical pen, I'm a mechanical sharpener because with a electrical sharpener, don't work. See these guys? See okay. So now I have coloring pencils, nice coloring pencils. These are not fancy coloring pencils, but any. This regular coloring pencil will do the trick for me. This is how I did my other sketch of um, Mr. B. I did these in coloring pencils, using these coloring pencils. And then I got a bunch of brushes. So I want to do like some paint stuff. Bunch of paint brushes, paint brushes, see guys? Paint brushes, all kinds of sizes and everything. See paint brushes, all kinds of sizes. Yep, that's it. Paint brushes, and then I got a bunch of pencils. Pencils, pencil, you never can have too much pencils. And I got a bunch of paint and water paint, it's acrylic paint, oil paint, water paint, all kinds of paints here, guys. Paint so I can do future projects. And then later down the line, I might buy a spray paint and use that. Okay, that's my medium of choice. Yeah, all this, guys. All this. The materials I have so far right now, guys. But right now, I'm gonna work on a project and see how that goes. What kind of project I'm gonna do? I'm thinking of maybe either doing another graffiti sketch or letters and graffiti. So let's see, maybe that. I don't know. Uh, let me know, guys. I think I'm gonna do that. And draw my own letters and graffiti. Right now, I did one letter A, and now I'm going with letter B. And let's see. Okay, so that's that's it, guys. That's what I want to show you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how these new. Uh, markers work these ones right here. I'm excited about these these I think you already know these normal markers that most people use Yeah, something basic, but not these these I pay a little bit for them, but I think it'll be worth it I'm gonna show you guys show you. Okay guys see this is the new stuff that I bought this right here and this too right here an eraser and These outliner markers, okay? And this is a sketch pad that I gave my niece, but she don't really use it. I think I'm gonna use it. Okay, guys. Yep. Oh, this is the drawing my niece did. You like it? I think it takes off the her teal. Yeah. Sweet. And I'm gonna show you how satisfying these new markers. Not these. Maybe later when I do the the drawing and color it. Maybe these. But for now these right here guys right here oh so satisfying opening it dun, dun, dun. different sizes right here I've never used these before but these catch my eye so let's see let's see how these work this one right here is uh is a 0.05 millimeters okay 0.05 millimeters 
And this is how thin it is. See, I'm gonna give you an example, guys. See how thin, see how thin it is. I don't know if you can see it right now, but this is how thin it is. Very thin for your detail work. This is for your detail work. Okay, guys, detail work. And this right here. And now this one right here is 0.1 millimeter. Uh, what? See how thin this is. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker, but not, not really by much, uh, yeah. Only by like 0.5. So it's on, and besides, if you just track, here's the numbers on them. Five millimeters. One, this is 0.01 millimeter, see right there, guys? Right there. Now these. Now this is the next one, 0.2 millimeters. 0.2 millimeters. So the next one, this one is 0.3 millimeters and so on and so on. See, 0.3 millimeters. Thicker and thicker. Man, these are so satisfying to use. So satisfying. And this is 0.4. It's going down the line, 0.4. Even thicker. Thicker, thicker. See, see the thickness here, right here. Yeah, this is 0.5. Even thicker, 0.5. And it feels so good in your hands. Like the material feels so good. So yeah, so this is 0.5. Even thicker. This is 0.7. 0.7. I think you probably buy these individually, but I bought them as a set to try them out and see which one I like. And this is 0 0.9. 0 0.9, just thicker and thicker. 0 0.9. 1.0. 1.0. And then the next one is chisel. Nice, kind of like a calligraphy tip a little bit. The tip is kind of like sideways. Ah, I see. Okay. Last one is the round tip. There's a round tip, like a round tip, like a sharpie tip. See, round tip. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Round tip. This is what I'm used to because I usually outline in sharpie, but I wanted to do outline in something else. See if I can get my lines a little bit crisper. And clean. So yeah, so there you go guys. These are all the markers. I think these are Molotov. I think this is called Molotov markers. See guys? Molotov markers. There might be a thicker one, but I don't know. But for now, this is what I have. This is what I'm gonna outline with all these. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay, well that was it. That was my art stuff so far. Peace guys.